More than, more than can I borrow 10 bucks? What do you need 10 bucks for? Because I have to go to the bathroom and I only had the $5 for the pee pack and I really got to shit. Uh, uh, I don't, I'm broke right now, dude. I, I fuck, fuck, it, fuck. Oh, fuck. I, I, don't, I don't have any. Becky? Uh, Becky? Becky? Where you at? Becky, are you not on this map? No, I'm on the other platform. Sorry, there's no cross platform in this game. Um, Did you not pay the twelve ninety nine oh. to connect your Vita to the PlayStation? I'm really far away. Oh, I gotta okay. Poop. Oh, I really gotta poop. Okay, Scoop, we're just gonna have to deal with that. Yeah, like. So, uh, okay. Moreland, uh, did you get that uh, uh, thing we talked about? Uh, no, I, I'm a little short. Like I said, I'm short <laughs> on cash. I can't afford the woohoo pack right now. Oh, it's only sixty nine dollars. Yeah. I'm what little... are you guys talking about? Um. Woohoo. We have woo-hoo! a pro- we have a problem. Now I need twenty dollars for the wiping DLC. What's up, Free Rotation Nation? Welcome to the Free Rotation Podcast. I'm here with my usual group of suspects, the uh, mistress of the microtransaction, Angie. Hello. The mistress of the microaggression, Becky. Always. <laughs> and oh, hey, you got in. You got in the DLC. I did. I ended up buying it. I had to wait for my next payday because, you know, it's really expensive. Yeah. Right? And the master of the micropenis, Moreland. <laughs> uh, you Is know he, he talking about me? You know he spent at least seven minutes on that joke. I really did. I sat in the car waiting for you. Then I was like, do I want to do it to him? Yeah, we're going to do it to him. Oh, he wants to do it to you. I mean. You kinky bastard. There's a lot of people that want to do it I'm the master of the micro machines. They used to get stuck in my nostrils. There's a lot of people that want to do it to me No, everybody in our Twitch chat is convinced you don't know what a PC looks like. So don't play. Becky has convinced them, yes. Literally. Because on, on the website, it says Scoob knows what a PC looks like. <laughs> why, have you, why have you done this? Uh, you don't control the Twitch. I do. I only don't control the Twitch because I never well, asked for well, it. Remember when she said, what would you guys like to say about yourselves on the website? Yeah, but I didn't include the nose what a PC look like part. You did that. No, I did that because I'm creative. You ad-libbed uh. and then you fucked me is what you've done. Oh. Like everything else. What is with all the fucking tonight? Fair enough. Oh, you paid for the DLC. Yeah. Tell y'all, yeah. And since I told uh. a controversial joke, that should give you a clue that we're going to talk about gaming controversies, controversies in other nerd medias and mediums, I should say. Um, I'll start with one that's... Teresa been... Caputo is not fake. You said medium controversies. I was thinking more like an extra large that controversy. Hair, that hair... Maybe like a grande. That woman's hair is bigger than my ego. Like, Jesus Christ. I mean, that's true, Are, though. An Ariana Grande? Gaming <laughs> controversies. <laughs> I, I couldn't help you, Moreland. I had nothing. I was over here dealing with some Caputo bullshit, and you were over here fucking... She said grande. I had to go there. You did. You did. So, uh, pardon me while I vente a little bit. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Becky's in her sunken place. You can <laughs> see it on her face. Well, you could. Five minutes. <laughs> I was going to say, you could if this was a video podcast. But it's not. Well, yeah. No, they've seen her sunken place when I build the. When we played. When we That's do true. the fuck. Yeah, you're right. They've seen Becky go, what the fuck? She stared into the void. It was staring back. <laughs> she and, got it's the, and it's a picture of me just with my dumb face, like, ha. Um. <laughs> That's our that's our next Twitch emote. The, oh, the dump my my face in every picture. The ha! <laughs> I'll do oh, it. Jesus, I'll do it. I'll do it. I will set one up tonight. Um, so yeah, gaming controversies. We'll start with one that um, we'll start with one that's near and dear to my fucking colon. Uh, microtransactions and how they shouldn't exist. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. The most well known example that I think people will remember at the moment would be Star Wars Battlefront and how it went actually went to a legal case because people were like, okay, it's pay to play and this is how you do and this is how you win and this is how you this. And it costs real money. Oh, right. But, where you got the better weapons if yeah, you bought them. Yeah, you bought loot yes. crates. And, and it says you're supposed to have an equal footing and you did you not. You don't because no. pay, cause pay to win. Yeah, it uh, was definitely the, pay to the, win. The best thing about it was they, they lowered the price of the hero to buy the heroes to be able to get just by playing through the game, they lowered the price of them, but they also lowered the in-game rewards that you got 
for well, going through the missions and everything. It's like Destiny. Destiny did that whole XP throttling. Remember hearing about that one? Yep. No, yeah, they did an XP throttling. And it wasn't mm-hmm. so everybody in the fire team and everybody playing would be equal footing for whatever. They did it because if you weren't paying, you didn't need to have the whole extra stuff. Like, mm-hmm. when they first did the uh, the Eververse in Destiny, uh, it, made a, it pissed off a lot of people. I mean, I was so deep into Destiny, I didn't care. Like, and I've bought Destiny 2 at work and for 25 bucks, and I've played maybe 30 minutes and haven't even looked back. Mm-hmm. I'd rather spend the $30, $40 on fucking Far Harbor and uh, stuff like that for uh, Fallout 4 than I would for mm-hmm. Destiny because A, more replay value, and B, mm-hmm. the grind is not as well, bad. Yeah, look at like and you DLCs. don't have to be online. There are some DLCs that you get practically a game, like Dragon Age. Any DLC you get is 100 times worth it. Mm-hmm. And the DLCs in Skyrim, yeah, just phenomenal. Stuff, yeah, and Borderlands the DLCs Borderlands, were incredible. They were like Dark Souls, games. Dark yeah. Souls, uh, Call well, of Duty DLCs, and are they even didn't worth it. impact make your game play better than anyone else's. Exactly. Well, even the stuff that didn't end up impacting uh, what happened in game, like or something like on the Steam, uh, the Steam store, where you, like let's make the example is like PUBG. They had loot crates for a long time that you can win with BP. Well, then they started having these different kinds of loot crates where you had to have a key to unlock it and you had to actually spend money. People started getting mad. It's like you're it, it is a vanity thing, but so the vanity skins and all that stuff, you could sell them on the Steam store for a lot of money because you would have to actually buy uh mo- you'd actually have to use real money to buy it. But a lot of people got mad about it because it didn't make any sense that you already spent money on this game that you had to go and get a key to unlock something you got just for mm-hmm. earning BP. Right. There was they had an issue with that in Destiny like like when they did there were a lot of shaders which just made your armor white mm-hmm. or pink or whatever or which, orange. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But they had one you had to do like the high level raid and then they said, "Okay, well, mm-hmm. we're doing this thing and you can pay where you can get it or you just can't ever get mm-hmm. it." I'm like, right. people well, like Scoob would have grinded for hours. <laughs> and I, I remember still, I, I started playing the game and it. had the option to just buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like, and they also, I get where they want to keep a player base, mm-hmm. because but money to keep a player base, I think ruins the player mm-hmm. base. And you see it in other games. I mean, you see it in actual non-video games. You see it in Magic. Mm-hmm. You yeah. See it, I can just. Well, it's like, do you want to have a player base or do you want to have a committed, like, group that plays your games consistently? Right. I would much rather have that committed group of people that that are gonna yeah because that player base is gonna go uh, yeah I mean, yeah exactly and you know who goes with them those people you pissed off exactly <laughs> well I think that was uh that's a good point because you you don't want to hide stuff behind a paywall like what happened with payday too you know they initially you didn't have any sort of microtransactions in the game and then like four years into the game being out mm-hmm. they started adding because well, micro- they promised they'd never have microtransactions right. i mean that was their promise and they broke it it's like you're already yeah it's like i understand that you want to keep making money on a game that's older but mm-hmm. make a new game then at that point yeah. like right. don't leave it to putting these microtransactions because it was mm-hmm. the same thing like battlefront you got better weapons by spending money yeah or the street a uh, fighter Tekken game where uh yeah Street Fighter Cross Tekken yeah and yeah. you had you you got um the twelve extra fighters for the PlayStation Vita and they said oh it's only four here and then some hackers discovered no it was a DLC coded onto the disc All that you was locked behind a paywall that they were eventually going to introduce and say oh we've managed to get these for your game or yeah. whatever it's just a patch you have to download but then you see but then you see like. You see a, a game like Grand Theft Auto Five, where yes, there are microtransactions. You can pay to play, but when they release a DLC, it's a huge, like a billion different cars. You can get different areas and different apartments and different guns. Mm-hmm. They release stuff where it be, it stays fun, it stays engaging, it stays entertaining. Where you want to pay to play, like like the Call of Duty map packs. Every, every, the, you know, the oh, four yeah. the four Call of Duty yeah. map packs that you get every year. It gives you. Four different maps, and depending on. Does that give you a classic map every? Mm-hmm. Uh, depend depends on the oh, okay. depends on the game. Uh, like Black Ops Three gave you a classic map, and then three other maps, and they also gave you a zombies map. So yeah. a new zombies map, new part of the zombie storyline. To story let you play in play. modes you were already yeah. gonna play. Like if I'm exactly. playing a mobile game, I expect microtransactions. Oh yeah, like even some, Candy Summer's Crush War, had microtransactions. Summer's War, War or right. if you have a game like let's for an exa- for example Fortnite or League of Legends, they're free games. 
But to mm-hmm. get the vanity stuff, you yep. can but pay you, money. But you can still get every champion available to a pay-to-play. Right. And you, you exactly. have no advantage. And I think that's why they changed the rune system. Yeah. Because everyone is equal. Yep. You can't buy your runes now and just well, go didn't in. They, didn't they change that right around the time of the Battlefront mm-hmm. deal? If yeah. They did. Uh, just, they did. Uh, okay. j- just like in Summoner's War, you don't have to, you don't have to buy mm-hmm. scrolls mm-hmm. to be able to summon more. Because yeah. people, it's have, just a boost for you. Yeah, because you can't eventually earn it. Yeah, you'll you'll eventually get this thing. It might be mm-hmm. a year and a half down the road. Yeah. Well, not microtransactions themselves, but if you think about it, that's what's going on right now with Hearthstone, because a lot yeah. of people are complaining about the way the bundles are working. Because you spend sixty dollars for fifty packs or something to that effect. You don't. You're not always. You're only guaranteed maybe one legendary. Um, and the problem is that it's hard to accumulate dust and with the sets rotating, it's hard to keep up with. So a lot of people are mad because you only get five cards. You have a very low chance. They've changed the pity timer at this point, low chance of getting a legendary. And at this point, you know, you can't trade, you can only dust. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't get the same value you do as a paper card game. So a lot of people mm-hmm. are complaining about Blizzard's way of oh, handling paper, those pa- mi- microtransactions. And, and it's so expensive to buy. Yeah, sixty yeah. bucks for well, digital cards. Well, no, let's yeah. also mm-hmm. talk about like and uh, the game that we all became friends over, Magic. They're starting to do something too, the buy a box promos, like for uh, Dominaria, I mean, Fire the, Song, and Sunspeaker. You right. can't pull it only out of packs; it's only a buy a box. The one, the new one for uh, ba, 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 ba. Nexus yeah, of Fate. Nexus the Nexus of Fate. Fate the turn. It's spell. already a twenty dollars card. Yeah, because you can only get it by buying mm-hmm. a box, and. For me, just from a, I don't like foils, so they only come in foil. But I am building Fire Song and Sunspeaker because I bought a box and I have it, and I'd rather have it to use it than. Yeah, but the difference is, I think with Magic, at least uh, Magic is a physical card game, so you can either well, sell the, the card to get that value back for something technically that you it. You're, trade it mm-hmm. for your own value. So that, oh no, I, I'm uh, Hearthstone is because you can't trade and there's exactly. no secondary Basically, market. No, yeah. I get that. I'm saying, well, I'm comparing the two because it is. Magic is doing that now. Right. And it's the same thing with the master sets. I can build a pack, like, you give me a pack of masters, and I can probably, with what I have at home, maybe depending on the rare, I can build you that same pack from other earlier sets. But I, I can see why Hearthstone doesn't allow trading. How many people, how many, how many YouTubers do you see have three, four, five accounts? Yeah. They play on different accounts. And they for, would just pass it between their accounts. Yeah, they just pass mm-hmm. it between their accounts to get everything and then they'd be they'd have literally one count one account would have literally every card. It would have ten million dust and just be able to Yeah, just but be able I guess to make whatever the, wants. I guess you could look at it similarly to uh, Pokemon Go mm-hmm. because now they've added in uh, trading with a friend. But you have to be friends with them in the same region. Right. So you could make the argument that Hearthstone could do something similar to that. Or like have a like when you play League of Legends, you would have to be level six before you could hit Summoner's Rift. You have to have a certain level in Hearthstone or have all the classes unlocked before you can start trading or something like that. Something that gives people an incentive to have an account and buy, but still be able to get the value back from their cards. Right. Well, we're also in in an area in a time and place where digital card games are something I don't think anyone really thought about would be popular. I mean, yeah. we've all thought, you know, we've all played regular paper card games and that, but like, who thought really at any point that there would be a mobile app where you could play a good card game? Right. Well, then I around. guess the mm-hmm. argument would be that with the value of Hearthstone, the value of the dust needs to be a little bit higher then. Right. Because you get only what for for sixteen, you get sixteen hundred. It's sixteen hundred dust to craft. A, a legendary. legendary, but you only get um, four hundred. Four hundred to to break down to a break legendary. it down a legendary. Four hundred. I was gonna. I was thinking. Oh, legendary will give me at least eight hundred dust, and that, that's no. halfway there. Nope, nope. four hundred. And it's four. Yeah. You, I was the, like, forget it. I'm not. Cra- I'm not breaking anything down. For a golden legendary, you get, you get eno- enough to make a legendary. Yeah. But why would I break down a golden legendary? I mean, yeah, that's also. I mean, that, well, why would that, I break down uh, a golden legendary just to make a legendary? Especially if you yeah. don't have that legendary. Well, right. mm-hmm. let's talk about other controversies like uh, developers being full of shit and promising us a bunch of shit they can't provide. Are you talking about No Man's Lies? I am talking about No Man's Lies. For those of you who are unaware, No Man's Sky was promised to be this open world space game where mm, that was infinite. It, it they were promised so much gameplay that you would, in your lifetime, you wouldn't be able to see it all. However. They just reskin certain, like, 
they were from what I remember they were talking about how you could see these great alien space battles going on and you could and have it never happened nothing happened you saw maybe a couple of and aliens said the world is so vast you may run into another player but the likelihood is is very small because the world's so big and think about even when they showed the trailer it looked amazing oh yeah. it was a movie the trailer always looks amazing no they built them like, they created a movie no, and the guy no. pretended to play it it wasn't even a real game so it started off as just a that's lie. That's why you should never believe E3 trailers mm-hmm. because that's what they do. They build an E3 trailer that's mostly movie. They ne- unless it says well, it's in game. Well, it's like on E3 then. is where the Xbox One was revealed. Think about how awesome it was when he uh, revealed the Xbox One. He's like, and then, oh, oh, this is great. This is awesome. <laughs> Until he said it had to be online 24 hours a 24 day. 24 hours a day. And when remember you had to buy it with the Kinect attached at first. Which, yep. I, which is the reason I waited so long to buy Me mine. Me too because I was not going to do it. Yeah, and that was just you're, you're a, not the, gonna force a connect on me, <laughs> right? Yeah. You're just not. Well, I think the Xbox One Connect is way better than the 360. Now I'm not sure. I know we've it, 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 it once it, or twice, it is, but, but it's good. But there was no necessity for it, or and that games weren't going to be backwards compatible for Xbox One. Initially, they weren't going to do that until PS4 came out and said, "Hey, guess oh no, was it because that you couldn't actually use an old disc? You couldn't use the Xbox 360 discs." Yeah. So mm-hmm. PS4 came out when they were doing their promotion and said, "Look, guys, look what we can do," and they put a ps3 disc into it oh yeah playstation took super advantage of it while microsoft oh, yeah. fell playstation stock soared yeah like nine nope. percent yeah. sony then, went up nine percent and then mm-hmm. playstation 4 got their free online hacked and for like six yeah. months yeah we'll see and that's just strictly from the realm of digital let's talk about real life controversies like content of game controversies mm-hmm. like no russian oh <laughs> for the, those not aware of that, mission. that's the Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare, more than you mm-hmm. played Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, I played, I played most of it. Modern them. Warfare 2, the, I've, forgive me on the plot, it's been forever, but the point of it is you play an infiltrator and a terrorist Yeah, group. you're undercover well, and a terrorist it, group. one of your characters, there's uh, multiple well, the, different stories. Well, elements. in this particular, in, in this particular mm-hmm. segment, and you go to the Moscow airport. A crowded civilian airport. And you start machine gunning down yeah. civilians. Yeah. Now... Granted, there you have two options. Uh, you well, you have three options. You can either join in, you can go through the entire mission and not kill anybody, which ends up getting you killed at a part of the mission, or you can actually skip the mission. Well, you can now. At first, you could. Yeah, no, there right. was no right. skip until. And now they also the don't provide any collectibles from that mission, so exactly. it's skippable now. I think actually there. Was- and don't quote me this. There might be a disclaimer before the mission starts now. Yes, mm-hmm. in, yes. Now there's a new release. Yeah. What game was it where uh, it, it like triggered the six because you specifically had to target people with turbans on their head and kill them? Probably a Grand Theft Auto uh, or something like yeah. that. Well, there's also the uh, in Grand Theft Auto in GTA Five. There's you play that psycho meth hillbilly. No, that's his character, psycho meth hillbilly yeah. Trevor. I th- no, Trevor. Yeah, because yeah. it's Michael something and Trevor. Yeah, but Trevor. You are there and you torture a person of Middle Eastern descent to get information. So it's like, really? you And people freak the fuck out. But every year when there's a GTA game, someone freaks mm-hmm. out. Like, there was that one senator or congressman who, since GTA 3, every, t- every year that Rockstar did anything, he was trying to get shit shut mm-hmm. down. I, I and mean, he either was disbarred for, like... It, w- it was Hitman 2. Was it? With, okay. with the sick controversy. Yeah. It w- okay. Yeah. Which makes mm-hmm. sense, because Hitman... But yeah, I forget the name of that fucking senator, and I wish I could find it before I was recorded. Mm-hmm. But he every year was trying to get Rockstar shut the fuck down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then he ended up getting disbarred for like the frauding the campaign or trying to get a hand job in a bathroom or something. I don't remember. What it's it. only really ever two things. But no, it was one of the ever classic like, oh, you're that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, GTA Five also got sued by Lindsay Lohan because she said that they used her likeness inappropriately. Yeah, I heard that. Yep. Because it's actually a mission where someone who, it may be an allegory for Lindsay Lohan, it's never stated, but you mm-hmm. have, you, you basically play a, a TMZ type reporter. You get, you watch her get banged over a patio table, and then you have to, like, it's an escort mission. You have to, like, take her, take this person to get away from uh, the photographers while the other photographer's trying to, like, wreck you and shit like that. And then, like, and, but apparently her lawsuit includes the phrase, well, it, I use the peace sign. It's one of my signature maneuvers. I'm like, really? Okay. So this actually is a good story, Scoob. 
Uh, the irony is an ethic joke on California State Senator Leland Yee. That's him. No, that's the, the isn't just facing bribery charges. He's also been accused of helping broker marijuana sales and of involving the mafia in, in an international arms deal. There was another guy. It was a white guy. I get this off of Kotaku.com. Yep, yeah, there was a white guy too, but I remember him. There was a white guy that did it too, because it like he would always oh, fuck. Because I remember him, because it was him and the other guy. The, the Mr. Yi that you just mentioned, it was him and another guy every year. They were like the only two. Another controversy. Have I remember the death of Superman? Mm-hmm. Have I ever mentioned it on this podcast? <laughs> uh, yeah, a times. couple of times. No, like the controversy behind it? No. Every year, and this is just an interesting factoid, every year they had at the time what's called the Super Summit. Mm-hmm. All the people that would be writing Superman comics that year would get together and talk about it. And there was always one asshole. We'll call him Bill. <laughs> For the sake of story. It's like, why don't we just kill him? Yeah, Bill, go have a coffee. And they were like, well, we'll just have him and uh, Superman and Lois get married. But then what do we do? Why don't we kill him? Okay, Bill, let's hear your idea. And apparently he laid out this huge idea, and they're like, that's what we're going to do. They did that. They released Death of Superman, and we all saw the comic where the fucking, it's a piece of rubble. It's rubble, and there's a like a piece of rebar, and his cape strewn across it like a flag. They had writers for that go to comic cons they got death threats they had to have armed security but no yeah they had they had like armed guards to protect the and these are comic book writers people really get fervent about their characters i don't know if i support death threats to people because they change characters or change the being of a character but that's the thing and and that's the thing that's also happened with the marvel movies the biggest one i saw was uh was it tilda swinton is that her name Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Casting her as the ancient one in Doctor Strange. Now I realize that the re- and I'm not saying that whitewashing is a good thing. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying the when it was written, and this comes from a comic purist standpoint, when it was written, you could have gotten any Asian actor to be the ancient one, and I don't think it would have been racist if you just cited the plot if you just read the source material. Right. Am I wrong here? Mm-mm. No. Not, not at all. But I mean, there's uh, there's bigger issues in the comic world, like the Stanley elder abuse allegations. Yeah, no, I was gonna say with, uh, yeah, but I was gonna say with the um, whitewashing, it it's one thing to take a character. I think, I think, yeah, this is kind of a touchy subject. But the issue is that you do have characters like we can look at the Last Airbender. They were clearly more native looking than I, just Ang in 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 the. In, in the live action movie, Ang should have been an Asian boy. You mean Ang? Ang, whatever. Ang, Ang, whatever. I, I was being sarcastic. And, and his name is Ang. In the movie, they called him Ang. Okay, so even Aang. though you hear him called Ang throughout the entire TV show. Mm-hmm. So in Ang, it should have been a a younger. Well, that wasn't even really the Asian issue. Boy. It was um, Katara and her brother. Um, yeah. Oh, Sokka. Yeah. They should have been. Mm-hmm. They were white kids. They, they were both white guys. I mean, they should. Have, they should have been like maybe Samoan, some type of Islander type. Yes. yes. Right. They were. They were Inuits. They. Yeah. Literally or were get, Inuits. Or get two Inuits. Yeah. Like. Yeah. But it's always. And that's not a race standpoint. That's a purest mm-hmm. of the fucking source yeah. material standpoint. Well, right. That, that's why, like, I can understand. I I can understand, and I enjoyed Spider Man Homecoming. I did. Mary Jane. Has always been traditionally a white, a white ginger female. To change her to a a black female, an edgy black female, edgy. Super, yeah, she was edgy as shit. Super edgy black. Meanwhile, female. Mary Jane is literally the girl next door. Exactly, and to change her to that, it like it irks me. I don't mind it a whole lot, but it irks me. Well, there's other characters they've done it with, like Miles Morales, the Hispanic. Hispanic Boy, Spider-Man. That's gonna be, yeah, is love. But Riri Williams, the uh, young black girl who reverse engineered a piece of Stark armor to make her own and became Ironheart, mm-hmm. people fucking hate. I don't get it. Same thing with, uh, I forget what his name is, but something Chow. The Hulk now is not Bruce Banner because mm-hmm. Bruce Banner is dead. It's a... Spoilers. It, Spoilers. Uh, whatever. Who didn't expect it? <laughs> I don't remember. I think he died in like some heroic way too, so very not what you would expect actually. But it's I want to say Amadeus Chow, but that's not it. it, it but, you know, it is. Is it Amadeus yeah. Chow? Yeah. Okay. Well, Amadeus Cho, but Cho, whatever. 
but he's a more like, whoa, dude, I'm a surfer, yeah. and also the Hulk. Yeah, he's a oh. surf. He's a surfer. Oh guy. no! Instead of the you know the purple pants, now they're surf trunks. Yeah, oh. they're, yeah I they're will show shorts. you a picture off air. Mm. Yeah. But the elastic stays well together. Yeah. Mm. I, just while we're talking about controversies about race, I had a hard time with the uh, the Gunslinger books mm-hmm. being made into a movie and Roland changing. Roland being the gunslinger. Because, yeah, they changed his entire storyline to make him an ethnic character. Gotcha. And that, I guess I'm a purist sometimes. But that, yeah, and this is not That a, didn't make sense to me. And why why say, would you do that? And right. when we say purist, we don't mean racially. We mean yeah. source material. Source material, yes. I yeah. understand that people, it's a new time and there's, you I, know, y- the, you, the people want to be more subjective of actual... But there are but plenty. But if it's already of written and this is what it is, then right, like you, it's easily you can go. Well, this is a different universe's mm-hmm. gunslinger. This is a different universe's this, and yeah. that's fine. Don't change his story just to fit your need for mm-hmm. this. Well, here's the the flip side to that, and I thought it was funny when Black Panther came out. A lot of dumb white people were bitching. Oh, it's a black centric movie. It's a black centric superhero. What the fuck? Yeah, what do right? you expect? He's no, from like, a fictional yeah. African nation. Yeah. There were only two white guys in there. One of them died. Your point? Yeah. Because <laughs> let me, they t- let- it takes place in Africa, which mm-hmm. the country itself is primarily African. I would assume that unless there was a lot of white people like South Africa, yeah. then there would be a more mixture of it. But the, all these people were hidden within Wakanda. It wasn't like they were but you know who out b- there. You know who bitched about it the most? Like, not people in this room. We understand why they do it. People who are smart, like people who read comic books and have these fandoms and think more than just right or left and say, mm-hmm. oh, this is an entertaining movie. Mm-hmm. Like, because I remember people asking me, like, why is the Black Panther about black people? Uh, you ever just wondered what a stroke felt like? Not Angie. <laughs> like, <laughs> I quickly had to save that, by the way. You can cut that if you would like. No, I think that's funny. Well, I was going to add before. It sounds like a terrible headache. I'm also never going to make. can't remember shit. I'm sorry, Angie. I'm never going to make that joke again. I'm sorry. I offended myself for offending you. And I know I didn't it, really offend it, you, but I just. It bother me. I know, but it really offended me that I made the no, joke. I don't know. It, it, it's a funny joke because when you're experiencing something like that, spoken words and handwriting and stuff literally doesn't make sense anymore. So when you're saying that almost made me had to have a stroke is because it just doesn't make sense to the point that it's like you're having a stroke. Fair, fair. fair. Well, I was going to add before. The stroking. Well, the, the other. Stro- the stroking. What I was gonna, now what, it's Pornhub now. What I was going to say before you yeah. started talking about the Dark Tower was there's also the flip side of it. Because a lot of people got mad because Laura Bailey voiced a black woman in Uncharted. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, okay, but she is a voice actor. That's what they're paid to the, do. Exactly. Here's uh, one. Like the guy that voices Kratos. is a, Get out of my fucking head. He's boy. a he's a big burly black guy. But he Well, no, the voices, voice now. He voices, Guess who the voice was before? Who was the voice before? Did you ever see that Queen Latifah show? I think it was called Living Single. Yes, yes. a fantastic show. Not Ob- not Obi, not the handyman, mm-hmm. but the suave black guy. Yes. He was Kratos' voice before these oh. games. And and Kratos is Kratos is a T C Carson, that's his name. T C yeah. Carson. Yeah. Kratos is a white guy. But But they're voice no, but is is his, Yeah. No, it, in all the cutscenes he's got a tan. He's got a because he's Greek. Okay, he's okay. He's well, white he's, because he's, he's wearing his family's ashes. But he's, he's Caucasian. He's Caucasian. Let's just not he say is, white. He's yeah. Caucasian. Yeah, he's, he's Caucasian. I mean, he he's may super be super white because he's wearing his a- his family's ashes. Right. Mm-hmm. Which I don't think anyone that read the source material, if you didn't read the source material, you didn't pick up on that, and you're like, oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> but it yeah, sorry, Kr- I just, Kratos, a he Caucasian, a Caucasian male, voiced by a black guy. Mm-hmm. But apparently, a black female can't be voiced by a Caucasian female. It's and they're voice actors, so that's r- crazy. Right? It's like, it's just the voice. Mm-hmm. Does that mean they should when they do uh, anime dubs or whatnot, they shouldn't voice Asian characters too? Like, is that mm-hmm. how that works? Is that where that line is drawn with that logic? I think it would be different if Laura Bailey had been the like, what what is it called? This the motion capture. She had been in the motion capture, and they were always going to use a black woman or something like that instead of just using a black woman. Laura Bailey just looks like she's just uncoordinated as fuck. Well, I mean, they use motion capture for more most voice acting. Last of Us is a good example of it because you can tell that Ashley Johnson is um, – what's her name? 
Ellie? Ellie. Ellie, yeah. Ellie from The Last of Us. Like, you can tell it. But this was a character that had already been predisposed and c- created, and they chose her because she could do the voice of a South African. So that was what a lot of people got um, offended by was the fact that she was voicing a native African voice, but being a white woman. Well, guys, you know what this reminds me of? What's that? Jinx from Pokemon. Which is also going to remind me of Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball Z. Someone hand me the soapbox. Someone quickly. Here, you're, you're standing you're on it You're always already. standing on it. Constant You've soapbox. You've always got, yeah. He, that should, he, well, that he, should be one of our emotes, just a box. Is, this is where Scoob stands. A, a, re, a reinforced box. <laughs> yes. It's got to be reinforced. Yeah. So for those of you who are unaware, and, and and I get it, Mr. Popo, when you look at the character, when it was first drawn, looks like someone doing blackface. So does Jinx. So they made him purple or blue or pur- one purple, purple yeah, or Jinx one blue. Jinx is purple, too. Purple. So they did that when they brought it more modern and people were going to complain mm-hmm. about it. Well, which okay, ba- sure. I'll back give... in back in the day when Pokemon came out, there was no differentiating in color because it was black and white or green. Be- it, because yeah, it shades of blue. There wasn't really the, there well, wasn't well, really a also the, the, a purple color the thing in it the is, spectrum the, of well, of a Game Boy. And also the thing it is, and Becky, you might be able to back me up on this because you watch a lot more like K dramas and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and anime and Angie, you too. I think in Japan, since that's where both series are based. Their concept of racially inappropriate is not. I would agree. I would say that you see a lot more. It's not, and it's not racial intolerance. It's more so that they see anybody who is not from their country as outsiders or foreigners, anyways. Mm-hmm. So they don't really have an issue with, I guess, depicting certain mm-hmm. aspects of people. Yeah, I think it's less about race and more about how ill mannered we are. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, because mm-hmm. the way the way Americans are perceived, and for good reason, is not well from the rest of the world. Right, and, and the thing is, like, we end up making, and it, it really is an issue here. But that's the problem: is we are such a diverse culture of people. You don't necessarily see that in Japan. You don't see a diverse a diversity like you see here. You have more more ethnicities in this country, which causes in a lot of issues where we see a lot of minorities being held back if anything so it wouldn't be something they would have at the forefront in japan because that's not necessarily one of their big issues but it is in our country exactly Mm -hmm. but and that's just you know different countries different things and that's right but once again that's something that we out being able to look think and look outside the box that's our free rotation of thought, if you will. Write that down. That's a, oh, that's that's a bag phrase. Yeah. That's a shirt. Why does he keep telling us to write things down? Because Angie We're has a pen his... and paper in front of her, and because she usually will. Because he's illiterate. We're not also his, true. We're not his secretary. Um, but yeah, there's that. You should hire someone for that. Um, so <laughs> I'll do it for $20 let, let, an hour. Let's talk about controversies that... <laughs> Where's re- Henry? Let's talk about controversies that piss me off to no end. I'm going to need two boxes. So. One for each boob. Yes. Sounds good. Uh... So this is my red wedding. The controversies I would like to go for go with first are it'll be wrestling, mainly because I already covered comics and they're eh. okay. So Moreland, okay, how do you feel about Dave Meltzer and going his above his five star rating? Meh. Okay. For to give the two of you context, Dave Meltzer is he works for uh, a newsletter. And he rates wrestling matches. He does a one to five star thing. Kenny Omega, who I've mentioned on the podcast before, and several other things, uh, one one of his matches with Okada got a six star rating, and the internet was up in arms because he went above his five star rating. Which it's like, okay, they told a good pro wrestling story. Why is everyone pissed? The man came up with a rating system. Can't he violate his own rating system? Right. So it's like, I changed my mind because I, I was going to have mm-hmm. cast, tater tot casserole for dinner, but I went home and had a turkey sandwich. Mm-hmm. Now is there going to be the fucking National Guard at my door because I didn't have a thing of, well, I'm going to have tater tot casserole because I'm a fat kid, but let's be honest here. You, mm-hmm. see, you see the point. You probably had the turkey sandwich too. Not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Look, sometimes I have to have a snack while I cook. Leave me alone. Well, it's insane how people go crazy about something that doesn't even belong to them. Or like what happened on Critical Role. I was just thinking mm-hmm. about that. I don't know which one you're thinking about. The one that just happened. Okay. There, there are a lot of, a lot and of I, things. Okay, well, okay. Hold on. I thought about this one in the car. We can cover yeah. this one, mm-hmm. too. When Scanlan 
or when Sam Regal went, he, he did the scandal thing and he left and came back as Terry. That mm-hmm. I thought was controversial because it. I, I don't think it was when, controversial. I think it was brilliant. When people thought oh, Mercer killed off the the gay character. Yeah, they thought they get, killed off. Uh, I mean, and this Gilmore. is this is literally his brainchild. He can do whatever the fuck he wants with exactly. it. Exactly. You're it, privileged it, to be able to watch their game. Right. It's literally. It's I've never heard way, Angie defend mm-hmm. Critical Role. It, it's going yeah. the way that the story is leading it. Well, and yeah. if it happened to be the fact that he died off in the fight with Thordak, mm-hmm. that's what happened. Okay. That's what happened. So let me. Spoiler alert. This is a spoiler alert. I'm sorry, Critters, Orland. You're fine. Okay. Critters, zoom forward. All right. A lot of people were mad because Molly died. Permadeath. Molly Mock died? Yes. <gasps> the end. No, period. I, I, that's it. I saw that today. And it happened because whoa, 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 of, whoa, 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 whoa. of a guest they had on. They Met, had Ashley Birch on. She, yeah. Uh-huh. She didn't meta. And she, she role-played her character. She left. Was it? Did she left? I can't. She left. Yeah, she ended up not assisting in what could have been a possibility. But she just played her character. I saw. Oh, and Marissa did the same thing. I, they played their characters. I saw mm-hmm. this. And I, they didn't meta game. I saw this today. Yeah. Talison has to make a new guy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Boylan, I'm so excited. More Talison. But has to make, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So, anyways, what happened is <laughs> a lot Talison. of people were in Birch. uproar on uh, like on Reddit, on, on Twitter, her. like attacking Ashley Birch because she didn't make the decision to help save Molly Muck. Well, okay. In re- let's, but it's meta if it's, she did. Yeah, she Because her character wouldn't have done that. She right. wouldn't have done it. And she said that. They came out and said it. And everybody said it. They play, She played her character exactly how it should have been played. She's not going to go save some random ass fur person she had just met in this fight to possibly die when she already had her own mission. Talison made the decision to let Molly go unconscious because he used a blood hunter. Blood maledict. Um, yeah, it was the blood, blood maledict. The blood he maledict. kept amplifying it. Yeah, and what ended up happening is he went unconscious, and they were fighting somebody who was way over-leveled than them, and he killed him. And had a glaive and mm-hmm. killed the shit out of yeah, him. Yeah, multi-attack and a glaive. Ouch. By the way, there, I, I've watched mm-hmm. several crit roll like, YouTubers. Yeah. <laughs> the episode for this that you're talking about, because I, I literally saw it right before I drove here. Mm-hmm. It says... So that thing that happened. Yeah. The clip. But, anyway, that's <laughs> okay. but, the, but this brings up a good point because mm-hmm. it's always the girls that get attacked by their decisions. Nobody attacked Allison because yeah. he decided to go unconscious. Right. It, they attacked Ashley because they were well, made. Well, it's also the fact that people feel they have the right, that they're entitled. Like, you don't. You, you're you, not you these don't people don't right. owe you anything. Right. They, Wait, they, isn't, they, that the, isn't that the entire plot of fucking Misery? Where she kidnaps the author yes, and makes him write. Yes, because she feels entitled for him to give Misery a happy ending. I just put that together. Misery, so I, please tell me someone mentioned come, that. Oh, you read Misery? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it, for those of you who don't know, Misery is the name of a character in um, the the author in Stephen King's book. And um, the lady wants him to write Misery a happy ending because she, I guess, sees herself in Misery. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. I believe that's what and so she sets up a car wreck, kidnaps him, and, you know, he thinks she saved him. But, no, she just brings him back. Very quickly he realizes, nope. She wants him to write Misery well, a Happy Ending. That's a good example of exactly what these fandoms sometimes do. Is oh, they, I, I believe they would kidnap Matt Mercer in a minute. Yeah. Tickle him with feathers until he wrote, like. Well, what they wanted. But it's not even I just, don't think it'd be feathers. Not just even in Critical Role, though. But look at a lot of fandoms where something happens to a character you like mm-hmm. or don't like. Well, like Lex in the 100. Yeah. Right. Or the death of Superman. And, and death honestly, threats and I was right. super angry that Lex died. But I did not go attack the writer. Right. That is his brainchild. Exactly. This is I how his story is I hated that she going. died. That, but that's how his but story went. But that's how his story went. And, you know, we were just, she wasn't even in the books. So the fact that we had Alexa, we were priv- privileged. Right. And also it, it gave the character of Clark depth. Yes. And so much depth. Mm-hmm. And same with the criti- same with Critical Role. If we were sitting at a normal D and D table and somebody's character died, we would all be really sad, but none of us would be like, mm-hmm. I can't believe you made that No, no, no. Becky almost died one time. Well that was her character in Scooby nearly died. Hi. Well, she was crying. She was mad. Yeah, Tables flipped. But it was my character. Yeah. It well, wasn't yeah. some random oh, no, that, ass so, on the oh, yeah, internet the telling me that. people who were watching our game that day didn't go flip tables yeah, and that's cut my, Scoob yeah. out. That's although, my point. Although several of them, mm-hmm. while you were out there consoling her, several of them goes, dude, she's really mad at you. I'm like, I know. She'll be fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. But that's still not somebody on the internet saying that you made that bad decision. Has he, has he made the new character? Or he this, this literally week? happened on Thursday. And it happened right before it ended, I believe. Can yeah. someone do me a favor on Thursday when it plays again? Once we find out what it is, let me know. Because I didn't like the Blood Hunter stuff, but that's just me. Okay. Mm-hmm. But that was, I mean, that's, it's crazy how fandoms. I woke up Friday morning because I had to go yeah. in early. And uh, the Twitter thing had gone off. And I was like, what the hell is happening here? And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> 
Because the first thing I saw was Marissa like, you guys need to stop attacking our special guests. She did nothing wrong. We both role played our characters. On top of it, that's the same shit Marisha gets. That's another thing. It's mm-hmm. like, it seems like. The- I apologize, Marisha. I keep calling you Marissa. Yeah. Marisha, always, regardless of what. De- Scaling could do some dumbass shit. And has. And has. And Sam is considered brilliant. Marisha does something dumbass, and, and she's the internet. Isn't she the one who jumped she, off as a fish. Yes, yes. that would be. <laughs> Which, wait, wait, adorable. no, she jumped off the fish, and a two Mercer said, well, "Who cares? We're gods, or near almost gods, or something." We're golden similar. gods. Yeah, and, and, and Travis goes, "Why would you do that? Why would you put that in the cosmos?" Yeah, th- I mean, but that's not the, <laughs> but that's not the point I'm trying to make. It's like, yeah, she does dumb shit, but it's her game to do dumb shit in. But mm-hmm. every time she's done anything that they didn't believe was tactical or anything like that, the internet just loses their ever-loving mind. Yeah. And it's always that, it's not Marisha. We mm-hmm. like Marisha. It's her characters. Well, lo no. and behold, same with Keyleth, same with Bo. A lot of people said the same shit, like, just depending. I just don't like Mar- the character she's playing. I like mm-hmm. Marisha. It's like, no, you just don't like Marisha. Meanwhile, she's given this character dimension. Because right. not everybody is good all the time. Yeah. Not right. everybody's evil all the time. I personally... Like, Bo started out by stealing mail. That was freaking awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Isn't, her, isn't that character also a lesbian, or was that a different... She's, a, she's pretty much... Yeah, it's pretty much confirmed she's a lesbian. Okay. She, I, know she Mo- likes, I, know um, Mo- I know Molly... Nasha. Yeah. I know Molly had that bisexual deal. Mm-hmm. But so I mentioned a- that because a lot of controversies are just people created, like... Gamergate started out as a real legit thing. They, it was ethics and journalism. Mm-hmm. And it became twisted into just a hate and a a witch hunt. By the way, uh, just to interrupt, R.I.P. Total Biscuit, the only game journalist I ever really respected. Yeah. He I'm just sorry. hated everybody. Huh? He just hated everybody equally. But then the argument. Exactly. Ar- <laughs> but, but, as, it mean, should, as it should be. As God intended. But then like, there was the argument, does gaming even have journalism? Is that even th- uh, something that mm-hmm. should be considered for gaming? I don't know. Someone go pull up K- Kotaku and see well, what I mean, well, the website is. And there should have been ethics. You shouldn't just be able to write anything you want to say about a game. It, I mean, it's or the, people who play it. It's the same as saying that video games aren't art. Right. Mm-hmm. Because that is art. Oh, that is it, Final it, Fantasy? Uh, the music? Musical scores? The, the graphics? Sky, Skyrim. Yeah. What No Man's Sky was supposed to be? Exactly. No Man's Life. No, No Man's Sky. Yeah. It was pretty, mm-hmm. but, but it didn't they back just re- up they, beyond pretty. They didn't do what they were supposed to. Well, do. and going back to No Man's Sky, they said that if you discovered something, you could name it, and it would be perpetually what you named it. Well, two weeks, the server wipes it, and it's gone. Well, your discovery. So nothing that they promised. Yeah. Nothing about that game. They said that you would be able, to, you would have explored the vast universe, but it was always almost the, the same, same planet, planet, just a different skin. Yeah. And the creatures looked like cartoons, yeah. like Looney Tunes. There was no like mass alien army population that you watched battle. Mm-hmm. You might see one or two aliens, depending on what you were. And speaking of mass, Mass Effect. Uh, on the, the sex, sex box, box. <laughs> the sex box. Oh my God, Fox News! Thanks a lot for that. Mm-hmm. Shit. Okay, first oh, of all, that's, that's half your problem, right? Fucking there, right. Fox News. Well, they brought well, in a it, psychologist who never even played the game or seen gameplay. Yeah. And she said, "Oh, it objectifies women and men make all the decisions." Really? Because I could play as a woman. Because I could play as a woman the that entire time. That was one of the best games I have ever played. I know you hated so, it because Becky couldn't drive the rover. Yeah. yeah. So for anybody who didn't know what happened is in Mass Effect, like Dragon Age, we've talked about, you could romance your Well, yeah, partners. you could promote relationships in which there would be a cut scene where you would be having sex. Now, it would just be a cut scene. Yeah, like you're any, not, like, it's, yeah. it's not Pornhub. No, it, or, yeah, it wasn't it's like, not and it's Pornhub, not full nudity. And, yeah. and it's not like the sex mini game in God of War. Mm-hmm. Right. Which even then is so tame, it's ridiculous. But Fox right. News basically I said. One. Sorry, yeah. That yeah. it targeted children and it was full nudity. And it was a graphic sex simulator, which mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure if that was a thing, it wouldn't have Meanwhile, had just like a mature rating. Ten seconds. Yeah. In, in, yeah. in an, I, I can't even, I and don't even know how many hours long I played it. called it the sex box. Well, you know the why the sex box. Well, the reason they got triggered by it is because the hot coffee mod from GTA San Andreas. Mm-hmm. San Andreas. A coder put it in the game. It was GTA 4. Yeah, for... The coder put it in the game. They said they weren't going to use it, mm-hmm. so he it, buried the code. Right. A hacker found it on the PC version. Because what happens is your girlfriend invites you in for coffee, hence the hot coffee. Mm-hmm. You go in, and there's a whole like there's an orgasm meter, and there's a whole kind of thing, and you mm-hmm. show. But it's it's PlayStation Three at that yeah, point. Yeah, and it's pretty pixelated, it's, it's terrible really sex. PG it's nothing. For it. But but the thing is, you couldn't unlock it on the PlayStation mm-hmm. Three. You couldn't it was unlock. Hacked. You couldn't unlock it on the Xbox. Yeah, you had you, to have the only, PC. You, you had to have the PC version and the mod for it. And they pulled everything mm-hmm. off the shelf and made them re-release it. Yeah. I don't think it almost killed Rockstar, but that made Rockstar go. Then what the fuck are we doing? It, yeah. Yeah. It it, it, it kind of almost did kill Rockstar because they were targeted. 
there was like hard. a whole movement um, to, to take it off the shelf by Washington. Mm-hmm. And speaking of Washington and Congress, uh, you guys remember Sony and Nintendo got brought up for Mortal Kombat because mm-hmm. of the graphic violence. Green blood versus real blood. Yeah. This is how we got the ESRB rating system because mm-hmm. Congress told them either you guys do it, rate the games, or we're going to do it for you. Same thing with comic books. My favorite mm-hmm. thing is most most of the gaming controversies that happen happen with the person that's accusing the game has no never idea what the fuck they're talking about. Played never playing the it. game, right? Same. Never understood well, what we the can go right. Of the game. And I mean that that goes right back to our first episode where we talked about the satanic panic. Exactly. Nobody nobody who was mm-hmm. condemning D and D ever played the game. They just assumed based on stories of people they had heard mm-hmm. that this was a bad thing. Timmy's yeah. my uncle Timmy's cousin Billy. Right. So now daughter. you have people who are saying, "Oh man, there's a mod that somebody managed to hack one time. We clearly have to pull everything off the shelves because right. that was something that shouldn't mm-hmm. have been there in the first place." Because Timmy will fucking see a titty before he's 12 and be yeah. fucking scarred. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? Like for Mass Effect, I don't think it hurt any of its sales. Really, the thing that hurt anything with Mass was Andromeda. Effect was Andromeda. <laughs> so, and, you know, we, Thank we've you, all Becky. been at places <sighs> where we've seen parents just buy mature rated games for their I, kids. I, I can't tell you how many times I've been in GameStop. Yeah, been at Walmart. All of a sudden, the, little Timmy, I want Call of Duty, and they're yeah doesn't look over over day, day over twelve. All right, I'll get you call it. Yeah, but if mm-hmm. you because listen, it'll shut you up. But if you and we call yeah. them squeakers online, more like, if you listen to these kids, your mom sucks cock in hell, bitch. You are twelve. Oh, you don't know what a cock is. I've been insulted like way worse by you know a, a baby face voice. Mm-hmm. You guys know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A squeaker. Then, then a squeaker. League yeah. of Legends ever has insulted me. Right. It, to be told to uninstall and your shit. Okay. Do, do I do I? <laughs> but that eight year old. That that eight year old that, that, oh eight, that, because that children, runs children because children have that natural like innate bullshit like where you like but, where you just that, that it's eight real. Year old, the eight year old that runs over and after he's killed you and, and tea bags you, you like ninety six times and he's like yeah yeah you like that don't you I'm like you know I can't feel mm-hmm. any of this right like what is your problem yeah and your mom your mom bought you this game that, yeah she yeah. did. That, she, that reminds me of two related stories. The time I made a kid pissed off because I stopped his mom from buying him a South Park game. Mm-hmm. And the time I spent an entire match in Destiny with Justin because a guy teabagged me when he killed me. I didn't give a shit what we were doing. My That guy was my target for the fucking... <laughs> Every time I killed him, I was like, teabag, 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 teabag. So Scoop's mentally the eight-year-old. Yes. But you know what? He deserved it. He started it. He started it. You started it, bitch. And by God, you finished it strong. Yeah, I did. The kid, uh, the kid was like, "Mom, I want that," and it was uh, not set. Uh, stick of truth, stick of truth. Oh, and I was Jesus! Like, well, it's still good. No, yeah. I mean for the kid though. Til- yeah. yeah, he could have been eight or nine, maybe. Mm-hmm. Parents read. Well, what it you're goes kidding. back to just the fact that parent, like the Five Night at Freddy's thing we've talked about, like that okay. game should not be. A tr- but it's like, but there's things to marketed to kids. I I've seen them at work. I get them at work. There's oh, yeah. action no, there figures. Really are the pop vinyls? The pop well yeah. Eh, pop vinyls to me are more of a collector thing. Mm-hmm. But there's action figures. Costumes. There's eraser toppers. There's costumes. There's plushies. There's mm-hmm. kid blankets with a golden Freddy pillow. Mm-hmm. And I had it this. I had a parent. The kid had to be four or five. Daddy, daddy, it's Freddy. And he's got a Five Died at Freddy thing. And it was Sister Act, which is like the end of the thing. So all the shit comes out. I was like, ugh. He's like, what the hell is that? And I could not stop myself. Sir, it's a horror game. Think Chuck E. Cheese. But instead, the robots are filled with the bodies of murdered children. The souls took over. You can't have that shit. Thank you, sir. And he just walked off. Well, <laughs> it's kind of Good like guy how, Scoob at work. It's, well, it's kind of like how now, uh, go back to like Fortnite. A lot of kids play Fortnite. And so now, because Fortnite's so popular, that people are saying that violent video games are a thing again. It's like, ha- if you've played Fortnite, yes, there's killing in it, but it is the most cartoonish thing if, I have ever witnessed. If a game came out on Friday, coming, mm-hmm. it was Pillow Fight Simulator 2018. It was popular with every fucking mm-hmm. streamer. Mm-hmm. They'd try to ban fucking pillows. No, mm-hmm. everyone would have to sleep mm-hmm. on like a dog. Like yeah. that would be. I thought you were talking about a real game, and I was like, Angie mm-hmm. was really excited. But I, see I what pictured you're it. I was like, you know what? Girls you and- know what? What is it? Uh, genital jousting, Moreland, You and I got to be eunuchs now. Dicks are against the law. Yep. Screw you. Thank <laughs> Literally. You get the razor blade. But oh, like, baby. that's the kind of shit. Stop <laughs> looking at me with glee in your eyes, Angie. 
But she that's because says, she's got a song while she cuts off your dick. That kind of glee. Ha ha. I know this is sick, but there goes your dick. I didn't know she had a song. I oh take my man, fist bump back. Oh, man, your blood is slick. <laughs> da, da, chuck, your arms, you. you can't use the block. I'm cutting off your cock. <laughs> Proof that Angie's a bard. <laughs> right? You better to fuck your with her weenus, because I'm cutting off your penis. The, she's the, Angie, can I build you the mutilator bard? Instead yes. Of, okay. We're doing, it, yeah. Yeah. we're doing this? I'm serial yeah. killer bard now. I, but I still want to be the bunny. Chaotic evil bunny. Oh, you bunny. will be. Chaotic evil bunny bard. Mm-hmm. Terrifying, terrifying large-breasted person, you. <laughs> But speaking of Fortnite, you, and speaking there of was, large breasts, Becky, go ahead. Speaking of Fortnite, Borla tried to get back on topic, and Angie went tits, <laughs> yeah. and I just watched both happen. <laughs> I didn't know where she was going. Speaking of Fortnite, speaking of Fortnite, there was a controversy with Fortnite and PUBG. Yes, how they're basically the same fucking well, game. PUBG's trying to sue Fortnite. Oh no, I know. Well, they were, and the fact is, it's really, really dumb because PUBG is using the. Uh, the uh, the engine, the game engine, H one Z one. Well, no, oh, because that, that is the original. If anybody has the right to sue, it's the guy it's for H one Z one, right? Let but me tell they, you, my brother they, is so triggered by PUBG and Fortnite. I'm sorry, Mario. Yeah. Well, the the people uh, that created Fort uh, PUBG are using the engine that Fortnite is using for their game. So that the people that Fortnite created, so they're suing. The fact that they made the battle royale mode that's like PUBG. Mm-hmm. Isn't there another one like Realms Royale that's basically Realm Royale. that again? Yeah, but it's turned into a chicken. Yeah, yeah but, the I saw that. but the problem is, Die it's like and I hate that it's too. like it's like the whole <laughs> stupid controversy with Apple and Samsung and their screen. Like you did not define you, you defined the battle royale map, yes, but there is always going to be a subset that comes out like Dota. Was uh what a mod in Warcraft? Yes. Then Dota spurned League of Legends, mm-hmm. and it's like you're gonna. You mean spawned? Well, whatever. And then Smite came along, and, and then Paladins. Yeah. So these the games like you can't sue somebody just because you had a battle mm-hmm. royale map and they look nothing in like. If you look at Fortnite and PUBG, it's like looking at Call of Duty versus Minecraft. Well, then fucking Nintendo. Yeah. I think if they or stu- Call of Duty versus Modern Warfare. Right. Mm-hmm. Like like new Call of Duty versus. Modern Warfare, yeah, yeah, or uh, Splinter Cell versus uh, Siphon Filter, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like and shit like that. Like it's someone's always gonna make something similar to what it is, Mm -hmm. what something else is if it's popular. Now, I personally think maybe what they should do is they the I know this will never happen, but the PUBG guys and the Fortnite guys go, okay, here's a plan. We a design a game together. The entry levels are like Fortnite. They're the kind of kid friendly, so you're not dropped in the middle of hell. Once you get to a certain level point, then it's PUBG. You can incorporate building or not. Or no, the thing with Fortnite is it's more difficult than PUBG. Mm-hmm. I've played. It's it for actually all of like one more game because of the minutes. building, the, building traps, all kinds of other crap. The that you issue can do. is that a lot of the lot of the big controversy regarding it is the fact that PUBG's trying to claim that Fortnite took did all the stuff, but Fortnite's a better optimized game. Um, and they're still having problems with PUBG. PUBG still has a lot of glitches and stuff like that. So a mm-hmm. lot of people converted over to well, Fortnite. Well, like one of your favorite PUBG stories uh, is involves Disguised Toast where he had an arrow stuck in his head. Yeah. It just never went away. So he got shot in the head with an arrow and he just walked around with an arrow in his head. Or you could stand somewhere and get stuck. I, I remember mm-hmm. watching Toast get stuck on top of a car. Well, we watched he, that. We watched that entire tournament mm-hmm. where it was Toast, Janet, Fed, all of them. And it was like they were just glitching through the game at some points, or they'd mm-hmm. get kicked out completely out of the map. Or you know, you'd see somebody who just seemed to be impervious to being shot, and they weren't using a cheat code. It's which, just glitch in the game. Which PUBG has the cheats that you don't see in Fortnite. Well, mm-hmm. and and Destiny had that too. Like, and it's it's lag gaming, and that's horse mm-hmm. shit. Because when you're playing Iron Banner, trying to grind for the Wolfhead cloak or whatever, oh, this guy's invincible. No matter how close I hit him with the shotgun, well, mm-hmm. fuck this guy. Yeah. Well, speaking of cheating. Oh, yeah. Uh, the StarCraft Two esports team. Uh, the two Korean guys, uh, Lee, Life, Shong Hyun, and Bung, Byung Woo Young. I apologize. Dan. She did the best she could. Yeah. Why didn't we bring Come Dan on board? They were two of the best players, and they're you know, going to go to the top. Everybody's like, there's no need to bet on anybody else because they're just going to run, run the tournament. They're far superior to anyone. Mm-hmm. Well, Makes they sense. deliberately threw matches. So what happened is some investors and gamblers came to him and said, hey, throw a couple of matches. We'll make a lot of money because we're going to bet on the other guy. 
like not enough to lose mm-hmm. their tournament sp- slots. So they were like, sure. I mean, they made way more money doing that. And the thing is, that. like StarCraft, yeah. but the thing with esports is, back when StarCraft was the esport, there was no regulation against the gambling. There was no right. It was like considered. It the wasn't wild regulated West. at all. Right. Like UFC, mm-hmm. like boxing is and still kind of was mm-hmm. and still kind of is. Well, even now with the LCS and League of Legends, you have to be uh, franchised. Be, and, like, that's why you have, like, the Cleveland Cavaliers having a team. You have these uh, – it's not Golden State Warriors. It's somebody else. No, it's Golden State Warriors, I mm-hmm. think. Golden Guardians. They suck. Whatever. But, um, like, that's why they have regulations now. But back in these early days of these games, you know, mm-hmm. what happened with Dyrus and I'm a cutie pie? They leaked uh, their uh, strategy. Oh, yeah. And they got disqualified. Team, team Dignitas did because they mm-hmm. didn't have the regulations like they do now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and recently, there was a team that was disqualified because they realized that the guy could see. I saw that the guy he's yeah. like looking at the monitor and he's looking like, at the map. He was he mm-hmm. was it was the most epic screen watch I've ever seen in my fucking life. Well, yeah, because they, they have like the in, giant like, monitor, like yeah. in basketball they have the giant monitor. Well, like we went to DreamHack, you're watching it and you're just like, and that's oh. why they had him facing away. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's I, why if you ever go to yeah if you go to DreamHack, that's a great example. Like Hearthstone, you're you're sitting behind the curtain and all that stuff playing the game because there's a huge ass monitor where you can be right. seen. Mm-hmm. So you can see your opponent's hand. Mm-hmm. Oh, the one with a uh, T Martin and syndicate for uh, CSGO. They had the CSGO gambling site oh, where you could gamble yeah. for stuff yeah. and they kept pumping mm-hmm. up this gambling site and, and they, they didn't, they, they increased that, their odd, their odds to win and to the reason show they that did they that were making mm-hmm. so much money. And the reason they did that is because they owned it and they didn't neglect it to point that out. Right, yeah. and so all these people spent, or, or or like a the Twitch streamer who had people donate, he was gonna buy it open, and he just kept the money and didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Well, that even goes back to Twitch streaming together is G two A that program that it's basically you get codes, and a lot of Twitch streamers were sponsored by G two A. What G two A was doing is basically ripping off these indie gamers. Yeah, with they these were, codes. It, it was the gray market codes. Or yeah, something. yeah, they weren't mm-hmm. actual codes that they were approved to sell and twitch spot twitch streamers were sponsoring them or they were sponsored by twitch streamers so you would have streamers who would be like no use this website but they were literally ripping off the indie developers but did the twitch streamers know no some of them didn't know but then they were still being sponsored after it came out and that mm-hmm. was a big controversy because of it mm-hmm. so you know you're doing criminal activity but do you care and you just continue to do it well i think twitch has worse problems now with the irl section than they do anything with g2a to mm-hmm. be honest freaking irl section. Uh, well, I, well, I don't think irl streaming should be the thing i'm sorry well now what I, is the difference of you just like film po- po- you Pokemon, just literally Pokemon walk Go. around its origin is that IRL was created because of Pokemon Go because yeah. people were trying to stream Pokemon Go but they didn't have a section to stream under. So they created IRL because your thought process was you were walking around outside Pokemon, mm-hmm. playing Pokemon Go. Well, what ended Which will up, be the next thing I want to talk about. It, what ended up happening yeah. is a lot of girls found, a lot of people, I'm going to say people, found that they could make a lot of money using the IRL section. Now there are people who say, or say Jake and Bake, he's a, he lives in Japan so he goes to these different areas and shows people what it's like in no, the he, culture. He, he's like a travel show. Yeah. That, like, like, I, I really like enjoy it. Right. When Offline TV went to Taiwan, but they honestly, did a lot of IRL. Honestly, watching Toast go buy shoes. Yeah, that's funny. Give me a fucking break. Yeah. I, I don't think that was funny. No, no, no I'm, I'm saying like, that was a funny. I would rather go buy myself shoes. Right, no, I'm right. saying it's a funny example of what mm-hmm. you can do in IRL. Yeah. So now we have a lot of people who will take advantage of it. You have a lot of people who Titty dress streamers. provocatively. And do mm-hmm. dancing or squats or something like and that. And what they'll do is they'll go to a club and IRL stream so they can get away with it because Twitch terms of service. Because you know, they're not titty streaming. That's yeah. the uh, that's the mm-hmm. go around. Or they'll the take it to a pool or yeah, or the guys will go um, probably work out or something. Yeah, or they'll go down the street and there are a lot of people who don't consent to have their image on there, but they'll make yeah. fun of people. Well, I remember. And Pokemon Go is the next one I want to talk about because we had the the amount of trespassing that happened. Yeah, the laws that had yeah, to be Yeah, like, like the one that happened here that my father, dear God, did, did, did I ever tell you the story about my dad threatened to shoot Pokemon Go players? Or I advocated shooting them? So my dad's a fucking alcoholic. We've covered this. And if we haven't, um, he's a piece of shit. Um, bad side of the DNA. Anyway, so there was a local cemetery, and I guess – they were people playing Pokemon Go in there. Mm-hmm. And in the background, it's a very historic cemetery. You know, Georgia's one of the what, original colonies. And uh, this it goes all the way back. To like the Revolutionary War. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So people were going in there. And 
I guess tombstones that got knocked over, desecrated, mm-hmm. or something. Well, even on top of that, my uh, my boss lived behind the cemetery, and people, because you know the way you found yourself to the cemetery, it would direct them down their cul-de-sac. So they were having people trying to jump their fence to get mm-hmm. into the cemetery because they didn't know where they were going. Well, that goes were... into the trespassing. Right, part, yeah. and that yeah. was and that was a big thing they had against it. But a lot of people got mad about it because it was like, oh, how dare you trespass? So what ha- ended up happening is our entire city ended up banning Pokemon Go. Like, any- oh, no, you couldn't even you can't even go into the cemetery now unless you have business. Yeah, you can only for tours. And I think it- you have to prove business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can only do that. So now what ended up happening, which is funny, and I told my boss this because he was like, you know, this is just going to ruin our experience, and it makes sense to ban it. I'm like, you just watch three months from now, Pokemon Go is not going to be a thing. And it wasn't. And it, it's not. And it's still not. People do play it, but they don't play it in the master. Yeah, you they got did. your hardcore gamers, oh, but now uh, who are about raiding the, the raids yeah mm-hmm. but then what happened is you know all what they ended up doing is of course it's overly broad well, people who went walking in there are banned and people the who joggers went, joggers people yeah. who were just there to and visit this is an enormous cemetery and it was nice yeah and mm-hmm. nice big roads it it, it it's beautiful well, oh, and I, I'm sure that the dead people enjoy it having company. Right. They're and, gonna be angry spirits here's, now. I, I'm positive. And here's the argument I had with my father, because like he said, the joggers couldn't go, and my dad was, is a runner, because he got a burn off it somehow. Hey, I was like, well, okay, dad, runners and shit use that. How's any different? Because they're not fucking destroying shit for fucking Pokemon. We dad, there's no to... proof that the people. That's don't... right. Well, I don't need proof. They should just shoot them all and whatever. I mean, yeah. Becky and I walked through that cemetery countless times, and there were a couple of graves that were already falling apart, mm-hmm. and you could see into the coffins already because it was an old cemetery, it, yeah, and the upkeep is not taking care. Yeah. Oh, but once again, like we discussed in Satan Panic, oh, I can blame mm-hmm. something. I'm gonna blame that. I'm gonna blame them. They like, did it. My, my favorite thing was I was playing in uh, the local the local strip mall. Mm-hmm. And they made a time limit that you can only be there for so long without buying something. And look what happened to that strip mall. Did you see how many stores have closed? Exactly. Which one are you talking about? The one my work is, or uh, mm. the other one? The big oh. one. The one where the theater is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you had to be in pair. Like you had to be in groups of four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you couldn't, couldn't walk be... around by yourself. No, 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 no. no you, you couldn't walk around in groups. Oh, that's you, right. That's you couldn't right. be in a group bigger than four. Mm-hmm. Because whether somehow, you were with your family and their argument just was somehow, shopping, and the argument was somehow it was gang related too. I heard, I had heard yeah. that part yeah. too. Like if you, like yes, like, yeah, about? Uh, team I, Violet, I was, motherfucker. Like what the fuck? I'm just trying to around. get to the four gyms that are right here. Right, I, like I was, <laughs> it's I was almost, walking around. I had bought something for, I had bought something from the candy store just so I could mm-hmm. stay walking around. And I was walking around, and I wasn't even, I was waiting on the movie. I wasn't, even, I you know, mm-hmm. playing Pokemon Go, mm-hmm. but waiting on the movie mainly, and. Two of the security guards came up. Well, you know you can't be here for like more than an hour buy, without buying something. I pulled the candy out of my pocket. I'm like, I've already bought something, and I'm waiting on the movie. Or I would have been I'm like, just, how do I'm you just, prove that I haven't been here for more than an hour? I'd be like, hey, can you and, show me your real badge? Right. And, Angie and I went the same way. Like, can you prove that you're a real cop? Because yeah. if you're and, not, you're just a motherfucker but, who thinks he is. But my favorite yeah. thing is, though, they go, well, why don't you just go down to the cemetery? I heard there's a lot of spots down there. Mm-hmm. Why don't you oh, just... Oh, I wonder why. Angie, oh, hand me the box people. again. Uh, Why don't you just suck my dick, you fucking half-ass rent-a-cop? Now, not all rent-a-cops are bad, but these motherfuckers... Because I had one of them come up on me when I was Mm -hmm. with a friend of mine. We were were sitting there at one of the fountains or whatever, trying to figure out what we were going to do. And like, y'all can't be here. And I was like... Why? Why? It's a public place. There's literally... A gazebo and a sign welcome. And then he asked, down. and then he asked me for my name. It's like, oh, I'm adopted by an Asian family. My name is Fuck You. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one time fuck I was you. witty, and I, no one you, saw it. You. But and yeah, no like, one what saw are you gonna it, do? But, ban me from this place? Like that really does kill me because you see people sit. At bar- I wanted to pull out twenty. Be like, really here, here's are your pay a for lot the of night. shops that shut down because mm-hmm. you know a lot of people. The place. You walk through the place. Yeah, I don't, and, but I don't. I go into Barnes and Noble and I leave. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk around anymore. Fuck you. Right? What's the point? Like mm-hmm. I, I might go up to the 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 gourmet popcorn place. I yeah. still need to go. Just in oh, and just, Rocket Fizz. Yeah, and the other place. Mm, Rocket mm-hmm. Fizz. Congra- you know what the best thing is? Those places because they're cool and they're like whatever. Are gonna I'll, get shut down because of all the dumb fucks who don't want you to walk around in a group of more than four people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it's stupid that that is a rule. No, it's not. It's America. Mm. No, it. But it's we don't. It, it's someone stupid. doesn't understand it, so someone's gonna hate it. It's but stupid it, that, that and we live and we live in a country and at a time now but, where hating shit is completely okay and it shouldn't be. But and think about like 
when you were out Pokemon hunting, we would run into, we ran into groups of kids, groups of like people, you know, Adults. younger and then 70 year old women. Yeah. And, oh. and everybody talked to each other. It was like, exactly. hey, what's around here? Are you going to put a lure on that thing? Exactly. It promoted such a unity and community and nobody. I, I went, nope, can't have that. Nope. Can't have everybody yeah, unionized. Nope. It's too much socialism. When I, now there's little puppies. Or little work animals. I, I went to the square near the place, uh, near the Walmart where I work. There's a, there's a little college there that has literally four spots. Yeah. And Like the water tower was a poke gym too. Yeah. In town. Or it was a, it was a. Yeah, that stop, was crazy. Stop, just because to get to the poker stop, you had to like really. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, some you, of you them. Had, I let Moreland finish yeah. her yeah, story. Yeah, some of the places were not well placed. But there, there was there was four spots around this uh, mm -hmm. around this college entrance, and I stayed out there for hours one night just collecting stuff, just collecting mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Talking to people, talking to multiple different people. You well, know, hey, what do you got? What you know? On, what's your rank? On the flip all this. side. In PTC. I was about to say, in the other part, the bigger strip mall down where I live, mm -hmm. they promoted Pokemon Go. They were like, here is a stop. If you want to come they out, did. They you actually have a put up signs. Yeah, here's a gazebo where you guys can meet if you want to go ahead and mm -hmm. walk around here's and do it. Here's a fountain you can yeah, sit at. It, and it also even said, like, if you want to go eat here, you can hit the Pokestop here. Mm -hmm. Like, they really promoted Completely the different. shit out of it. And you it. know but what? Our... That was a dying uh, strip mall because until of they this. did that. And yeah. now... This one's dying, and that one is booming. Welcome, yep. welcome to the fucking stagnant swamp that is our fucking town because it's so deep in the Bible Belt, and the same four families control this fucking town. Mm -hmm. Fucking hate this place. The only mm -hmm. reason I'm just too fat and lazy to fucking move. That's the only reason I didn't move. It's the only reason I'm still in this like town. I feel like it's getting better though. With uh, like we said, we were talking about earlier today about the movie theaters and stuff coming in. Mm -hmm. It's really starting to get. Well, we're having a lot more younger people move back in, right? And then you have a lot of uh, mm -hmm. you have a lot of the movies and, and the I entertainment. feel like a change in who runs the place is coming because I've seen a lot of. Well, that's because like, most of the like families are the way the 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 hate group that was here, mm -hmm. the way they were handled, where we seem to cater to the one group and just totally loathe the other. Mm -hmm. I just. I just feel like there's a change coming in the political climate here. I know it. I there just. Is. I fucking just hate this town, man. And I'm in a foul mood Hopefully already. Hopefully for the just, better. It could get yeah, worse. I mean, yeah. yeah, it could. It's when literally. When you see he's running for governor, it's a little scary. I haven't seen that. Do I want to know? Oh, no. Just, if you're not in politics, later. don't worry about it. Yeah, just tell just me later and we'll sad. talk about it later. Mm -hmm. oh, Blue says there's controversy with the old, like, Thundercats game. Wow. You know what right. one of my favorite controversies is, though? And this is a recent one. Was Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Because she was Miss Israeli. So uh, what did she know about being a superhero? Because she was a real-life fucking superhero. She was an Israeli, the Israeli uh, army. Yeah, uh, she was a combat instructor. I remember. Like, special forces combat instructor. Remember the other one? Uh-uh, who? Uh, when they took... She was the unofficial... Or the official emissary of uh, Themyscira mm -hmm. for the United Nations. Oh, yeah, remember, yeah, I yeah. told you about this, yeah. and you threw something. Yeah. Because... Okay, so they made her, like, the ambassador to Themyscira. It was a whole big thing to, like, hype the movie or whatever. And someone got fucking butt hurt, their panties in a twist, and complained because she was degrading to women. No, Wonder Woman is not degrading. To okay, the Linda Carter stuff with the in bondage. Okay, maybe the origin story of the original story of mm -hmm. why but Wonder Woman New came to existence. New Fifty Two, no, yes, yeah. daughter of a god. Oh yeah, like, Wonder no. Woman is she's in power. She is woman power. Yes. Like, how time. can you? There's a scene in Justice League Unlimited I'll have to show mm -hmm. you. And Gal Gadot was a spectacular Wonder Woman, and mm -hmm. she did her own stunts. She's incredible. Yes. And people are like, what, what makes her sh to be a superhero? Blah, blah, blah. Bitch, what makes you, you know, uh, worthy of judging her? What makes you? The fuck did you do? It's right. just like controversies are started by people who sit at home and it's like, hmm, yeah, I think I've I'm going to dislike this You thing. mean the, key, I've the keyboard warriors and mm -hmm. shit like I think that? that some, I think there are... I think this is a good way to wrap it up. Is like there are yeah, because we'll keep going all night. Yeah, there are controversies that are substantive, like the microtransactions, like mm -hmm. that, you putting stuff behind a paywall because you want to up your game prices. That's something that needs to be taken right. in consideration. But there's also the flip side of butt gate, mm -hmm. like yeah, uh, with tracer, you nerfed, tra you nerfed tracer's yeah. butt. You, yeah. you know, it, they didn't even nerf her butt. They just said, hey. 
this character is not supposed to be sexual. She's not sexual in any way. Go so, on Pornhub so, and tell us how sexual she is. So an over-the-shoulder view where it shows her butt. Where the donk is real. Well, th- then, but that that's something they complain about. And then they change they change the they change the uh, pose to where she's got one leg up in the air, and you can still see her ass, and she's still mm-hmm. got a fantastic ass. Well, that's because women aren't, al- women aren't allowed to have tits and ass until well, someone's grabbing them we, by we it. We hear that's about that works, right? women getting sexualized in games, but I think League of Legends is a, is a really good game where a character like Varus, that is a very sexualized picture. Mm-hmm. It's not just the women. Women have great boobs, but there's also like Jinx. Flat chested, just vicious as hell. Maybe oh, Kratos, yeah. and maybe Kratos would like to put on a shirt. Mm-hmm. Has anyone thought of that? Right. Well, I mean, in Varus, I mean, you've seen I don't know him, where I mean, this he, is gonna go. That, that, that's a sex. So, I mean, the dad of war did finally put on a shirt, didn't he? He did. So. I saw this great comic, and this woman is bitching about. Uh, she's like, "Why is my armor just boob armor, and like my legs are exposed, my stomach's exposed?" And so he gives it to the guy, and he's like, "This is fantastic. I've got a lot of mobility and dexterity." <laughs> <laughs> like, man, this. And is she puts cool. on his. She's like, "I can't move." <laughs> Uh, my favorite part of uh, it's the same thing. She puts she's you know her her chainmail, but it's basically a chainmail bikini, mm-hmm. and they everybody shooting arrows. Everybody shoots arrows at the guy, and, and it, it's like, just on her it, boobs. It, it hits him everywhere, but it hits her in the boobs and the crotch and everything. It's just like really. <laughs> she's I like, just, hold up, I got this. Speaking of interesting things and Moreland playing female characters, guess what's ready, Moreland? Is my bard ready? So your bard is ready. <gasps> there will be a stream at some point. Probably within, of me and Moreland mm-hmm. building within the next two weeks. There will be a yeah. vote on the name because I want to name it one thing, but Moreland wants to name it another just for the fucking joke. Oh, so if you're in chat that day, be prepared to help mm-hmm. name this character. Also, we have a pretty controversial giveaway on Twitch. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. Okay. So when we reach 25 subscribers, we're gonna give away a Razor keyboard mouse. Ooh. So. I'm gonna subscribe ten times. Yeah. That wouldn't make sense because I could just buy cat myself. On your microphone, laughed at you. I know. So what do we what do we promise them to get the emote of my hat face? Oh, that's that's happening too. I thought we once gonna... you have to hit partner. We have to hit partner to get more emotes, which means seventy five consecutive viewers, like a hundred actually. Like 100. We got to get a lot of viewers. We got to stream more. If, yeah. we, if we get a hundred viewers, you're gonna get another Scooby emote. Let's tell you we how a lot popular more that emotes. is. Yeah, it, it's not mm-hmm. just viewers; it's constant viewers. Yeah. All I know is I took a picture. Is Becky said your face is going to be the emote, and I said okay, like that's the end of my involvement with that process. Mm-hmm. It happens. And then she spammed it, and apparently people. Well, okay. So chats. since we are re- reaching the end, we also need to mention that we're about to hit our next rotation, mm-hmm. and we won't have an episode next week because everybody is. Yeah, more than I'll be out of town, so we won't be able to record separately. Uh, however. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Together, that would be awkward. However, our next rotation. Wait, talk. hold on. We're going separately. I thought we were going to. Are we're you going not... to West Palm Beach? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. You going to West Palm? I want to go to West Palm Beach. I thought we were going. I know. I I'm swore we're going together. That's why I oh. got the plane tickets. Okay. My bags are packed. Were we not? I'm Wait, hey Becky, you want to come over and help me unpack and play with the Chihuahuas? Were we not? No, thanks. Were what, we not, what are you were, calling? Were uh, we not supposed to tell them that? We weren't. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm ignoring them. Anyways, so here's what's going on. Our next rotation is called The Fuck Am I Doing? So now we have challenge. <laughs> it is The Fuck Am I Doing? So we, we have challenged. That? So each of, each person has been challenged by the other three to do something that they would not normally do. So let's start with Scoop because he has the easiest. He has to watch a scary movie and talk about that it. That they still haven't told that, me. That we picked. Yeah, and we, picked. we have picked a doozy. It's a doozy. And uh, a regular listener and twitch watcher robin has given me some great ideas i need to oh i was gonna you. blame marco thank you for <laughs> no marco did not um so he, well, that that is one thing and the reason they won't tell me is because i will find a youtube channel and spoil it so i'm not scared yeah so that's exactly that's why, exactly we're, not, why exactly we're not doing because it i fucked around and told him i do that yeah so then for me it's going to be watching three professional wrestling matches four is it four, four? Well, it, it's 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 two. good botch botch good right yeah it's two it's two matches uh, and then uh, a YouTube channel segment of people fucking up or botching. Okay. Botching mm-hmm. their moves. Either way, I'm going to be in a vegetative state at the end of it. Moreland's. So, Moreland's is what we are going to be. Okay. They're going to try to make me no, no, cry. No, 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 no. Let's talk about Angie's because yours is first. Okay. So Angie's, please submit any bad fan fiction you have because Angie's got to read bad fan fiction and make it through it and read no, no, it. And not oh, okay. just bad in content, like grammatically incorrect. Oh man, I, here comes I, I am a grammar Nazi. Queen. No, stop it. 
Oh, I'm going to find some bad fan fiction for uh, you. I would like to point out that I made there the joke. There are certain fan and... fictions that I, I can't I can't even with. I still say we should write one. And just... Oh, I'm going to write one, but I'm also going to find some bad shit that she's going to read. I mean, why you got to double down on fucking with her? Because it, because because this is because. the one time she's gonna have to make through. Make Angie, it I would like without... it, I would like it noted that I'm and advocating she... for not fucking with you as hard as you want. You're to the fuck one that you. came up with this rotation. Yeah, me. and I also said don't fuck with her that hard. Listen, she has to be positive. She can't say anything not negative about any of this. Oh, this was a part of the deal. Yeah, it was. Remember that oh, was. Oh, I've got to be positive and Angie, not like Angie, it. Angie, yeah. Angie. There's a workaround. I'll tell you later. Okay. Yeah, well, you have to. I'm like... gonna have another stroke. This is what's gonna happen. That wasn't the workaround, but all right. <laughs> so in two, okay. So that's planned. So <laughs> these episodes, okay. The three episodes we've discussed. Oh my god, I don't know why they're laughing so hard. The three episodes there we are doing are gonna be normal. Ro- okay, the three episodes that we are doing are gonna be our normal podcast. However, Moreland. Oh, they're going to try to make me cry. On stream. We're going to stream it on Twitch. So our next podcast episode is actually going to be streamed on Twitch. So we will announce when that episode will be aired, and uh, it'll be live. So we will be showing YouTube videos as it's happening. <laughs> However, there is a punishment to go with this uh, stream. If I cry, I have to get a bikini wax. If you don't cry, Scoob has to get a bikini wax. Aha! Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that part. So keep a lookout on our Facebook and all of our social media. And we today, will not... Dan and Aiden and I were talking wax? about. No. Well, I did get waxed on my face. It was very hurt, painful, hurtful. Very hurt. It, it was, was very hurtful hurt. too. It, it very hurt. Oh my God! The fan fiction's already <laughs> wearing off on me. But the yeah, so grammar. so Dan was telling me something because I happened to mention mention something, and I know. Of a good clip. I'm not going to cry. Oh, you will. Because I cried when Dan just told me about it. I'm not going to cry. He said so-and-so did such and such. I was like... <laughs> so here's the thing. Are we each three going to pick one? Well, I think we're also, we're streaming it. So my thing was we all pick clips. And then if there are people in Twitch chat who have any ideas for clips oh, to send us. My now, here's the thing. You God. can't send us anything that's more than PG-13. Because God forbid we get banned on Twitch. Don't do that. Well, we're not. Sh- are we showing the clip? Yes, we're going to stream it. Oh, then I have to make a okay, whole lot so of new choices. We'll, re- we'll review the clips first. Yeah, we'll review the clips. But if you want to go ahead and send us clips, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Just uh, message it to us. Moreland, you yeah. can't look at the messages. I need to look don't, up. Don't, I, don't tweet it at us. Email it. Yeah, email I, it. I need to look up exactly what qualifies as PG-13 then. Yeah, because we're going to be streaming it. So what will happen is we'll have a setup for our stream and our podcast. But you will see Moreland watching the clips, and you can watch the clips with us. And let us know if you cry along, too. So once – we get that all set up. That's going to be a little bit of a diff- difficult setup for us because we've never actually streamed a live podcast. We'll do it, though. We're going to make it happen. It's gonna oh, my gonna, God. You're going to get the look We're at IRL my tearless streaming face. streaming, and I just bitched about it. What? We're IRL streaming, and I No, it's a talk show. It. There's talk shows. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, th- there's okay. all kinds of talk shows. Yeah, they shows. have talk shows. They have creative. They have IRL. So we're okay, under a talk okay. show. Okay. Because we're a podcast. Okay. We're going to go buy shoes. You, you get to see that. my tearless face. Or tearful no, face. You're going to cry. Tearless. Cry. Tearless. Cry, tearless. So, so if he gets misty eyed, I lose. Or he I, has to have a tear. A, a actual tear. A tear has to run down his face. Well, if then his we need, eyes th- turn then red I, and then I, he gets teary, that counts. Then I need the caveat of he cannot wipe his face and try to wipe away a tear. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. You can't cut onions running those goos. I, no, I'm, just, I'm, I'll fucking you. watch it with you. I don't give a shit. Oh, you're Scoob, going you're gonna to. Cry. You're going to be here. <gasps> Is it who cries first, maybe? That's a bad choice. That's actually hilarious. Scoop's gonna we could actually first. sit exactly. you guys next to each other to for this to happen. Yeah. I can tell oh. right now I'm going to cry, so I'm not going to. Like, be literally, he and I are just going to be like power fucking punching each other's fist just so the pain registers so we don't cry. Or you're going to slap each other to make the other cry. That's the other caveat. No physical contact. No playing with yourself with the pocket of Hey, pants. she said no physical contact. Quick kick. Fuck you. Me. I have these long dancers' legs. <laughs> I love when you say that. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to say. Oh, okay. oh mm. wait, she has an idea. I'm going to claw more than he's going to fucking cry. That's and good... we're going to watch Scoob regardless. So just keep a lookout for when this comes down. Bitch, I want you to cry. So, wow. <laughs> <All right. laughs> hey, hey, Becky. Becky. Wow, you guys did that perfect. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where can they find they us? They can find us on Spotify at the Free Rotation Podcast. That is so mean. What about Weeby Geeks? 
I hate you guys. <laughs> okay, so let's get through it. You can find us on Facebook at the Free Rotation Podcast. You can find us on Twitter at the Free Rotation. We are also on Instagram at the Free Rotation Podcast. And Spotify. <laughs> and we stream on Twitch at the Free Rotation, and we are on YouTube at the Free Rotation. If you didn't know, we are affiliates on Twitch, starting with that. So that means that we have a subscribe button. If you haven't happened to have Amazon Prime, if you have a Twitch account, you can link your Amazon Prime account and get one free Twitch subscription a month. Why not use it on us? We're at the free rotation. Just heads up. Anyways, so you can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Instagram. Stitcher, everywhere. And I said Instagram. Did you? Yes. Okay. She did. I'm and try- you can I was listen to us, to help. rate, subscribe, review, all that stuff. And we are also affiliates of... We be geeks. We be geeks. geeks. You can find us there at webegeekspc.com. Or you can find all your. You can also find all of our shit at thefreerotation.com. Or in a septic tank. Uh, Did you pay for that? Did you pay microtransact that? Bye, guys. See you next episode when we're live. Bye. Moreland's going to cry. Bye. Bye. Moreland's going to cry. Cut off his cock. Die, die, die. Die, die, die. No, he's not. And always remember if you use mommy and daddy's credit card, make sure they don't find out when you pay for the DLC. Not having anything when I sat down. <laughs>